Well, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations, and today we're going to do something very different than we normally do on the show, as you can see. Uh, so here's the backstory, real quick. Uh, my son, uh, most of you know, if you've been watching the show, he's deployed right now over in Poland. And uh, before he left, he wanted to take and do some fishing, so me and him got in it, didn't run, Got it to run a little bit, but the and then the he spun the prop somehow. He, he hit something. I don't know. We don't know. We really don't know. Uh, neither one of us has really owned a boat before, so this is really kind of fun. But um, so what I'm going to do, as I mean, he knows I'm going to do it. He just doesn't know when. Uh, we're going to do a will it run on this. Get this thing running. Get it running really good for him. We're going to get the prop fixed. Uh, we need to get that all fixed up and uh, and get it ready for him when he comes back from Poland because he just found out he's got orders to head to New Mexico uh, as soon as he gets back. So no water in New Mexico. So he's gonna have to sell the boat. So we need to get this thing in shape for him to sell and use it for the last, you know, last summer he's gonna be here. All right, let's get to it. Well, here we are. So the prop has a little bit of damage um, pretty minor. I'll, I'll straighten all that up and clean it up. It should be fine. Um, these things have a collar inside here that, uh, is supposed to crush and, and do its thing so that if you hit something, uh, you don't damage your transmission or any of your gearing and whatnot in here. So it, it appears as though it did its job. Uh, so what we need to do right now is we need to pull... There we go. Not very tight, was it? There was also a, a cotter key in there. I've already pulled that off. I did that earlier. I was going to try and do a little bit of looking into this, but let's just do it together. Well, come on. There we go. There's a, there we go. Yep, there should be a washer. There it is. It splines. And then that should come off. Let's see. There it goes. All right. And there we go. And then the spline and all that looks looks good. So we're going to have to take and I think this has to be pressed out. So let's take this over to the press and see, see if we can't get that out of there and take a look at it. All right, guys. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't. So it looks like it needs to go this way, this way. If you can look in here, you can see that. And then on this side, it doesn't, it, it, it definitely needs to come out this way. So let's press this way. There we go. All right, let's get it pressed off or at least try. I guess, I guess it worked. All right, let's see what we got. There you go. You see now it's out of there? Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna need more than just that. The whole, the whole thing in there broke. Wow. Huh. Interesting. I guess we need a prop now, too. Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> okay. I know nothing about buying a prop, so this should be fun. Huh. Man, that just shattered. Look at that. You see it? Alrighty. Let's, uh, let me do some research, see what we can do about finding us a prop, new, uh, new bushing, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, well, Ryan, I owe you a prop. <laughs> I 
That's all right. By the time you see this, it'll already be done. All right. Let's uh, let me uh, let me get all that stuff taken care of, and uh, and then I'm gonna come back with a bag full of goodies, start working on the engine, try and get that prop set, uh, see if we can't get this thing running good. All right. And uh, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. I need to get this boat hooked up to my truck. And I need to get it pulled over to the shop so I can uh, I can get that fixed. So I need to get that done before my son finds out I trashed his prop. <laughs> if you're watching, Ryan, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my truck over here, get it hooked up. Get it over there and see if we can't uh, get this thing running. All right, so... That's the plan. Let's go ahead and get it done. Okay, got it over here where I can work on it. So let's get it prepped and ready to go. Oh, let's take a look at what we got here. So we got a Johnson uh, Bombardier Johnson 40. Um, and full disclosure, I know nothing about boats. I've never owned one. Uh, so this... Um, this should be kind of crazy and kind of fun, I guess. Um, so I don't even know how to get into it. So I'm going to have to... I don't even know. I'll figure it out. All right. Let's uh, get the top off so I can get to the controls. Um, all that good stuff. Okay, I think, uh, I think it's uh, where I can work on it now. I can get to the controls, figure all that out. Uh, um, I gotta find the batteries. Where are the batteries? I don't know. Um, huh. No guys. Well, guys, we get to, uh, I guess we get to do some exploring. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, he's got another prop in here. I didn't need to buy one. Oh, see, that's what I get for not telling him what I did. <laughs> well, now he's got a spare prop. <laughs> Uh, oh well, let's see. I don't know. And you guys know where the batteries are? I don't know. I don't know where the batteries are. Um. Wow, that's not good. I gotta, I gotta see if they're hooked up. If they got a charge. <sighs> All right, I don't know. Okay, guys, let me uh, let me get you set down. I'm gonna do a little bit of searching here real quick, and uh, we'll pick it up after that. Okay, guys, so so far we've successfully destroyed one prop. So I found a spare prop, so I didn't need to buy a prop. So I'd say we're off to a good start. So let's uh, let's see if we can't get one of those props on. Uh, Okay. A little bit. 
fishing line in there. Okay. Okay, here's the new prop. So let's uh, let's see if I did good. Well, I got the splines right. And it looks like it fits just like the other one. And I got clearance, so I got that right. Woo! <laughs> Look at me go. However, that's not catching on the spline. Huh. Let me look at something real quick. Let me see if the other prop fits the same as this one. This one feels bigger. Yeah, well, it also... Uh, it also... This piece here doesn't go inside of there. As you can see. And yeah, that's probably not good right there. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe I did need a prop. Right? Because <laughs> that one doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's keep playing around with it. Okay, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, um, and I have no idea if this is actually fitting right or not fitting right, um, because I destroyed the one that came off of there. Uh, wow, I don't um, Let's get the rest of that off of there. Okay, so I'm going to assume I got that right. It fits right right in there. I'm assuming that's correct. I mean, it feels right. It feels I'm not hitting anything back there. feel like I got it I don't think it was seating on that washer or spacer or whatever that is back there but it feels like we're better now so we will see it can't be that hard can it okay. where'd my new Cotter key go. I had a new cotter key. Did you guys did you guys move it? No. Oh, no. I got it. It's right here. Never mind. Sorry I blamed you. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Alright, so I'm not sure what that prop's doing in there, but I don't think it fits correctly. Or maybe the one I got doesn't fit. Okay, so before we put a cotter key in. We need to tighten it. 
let's give that something to hold. Stay there, I gotta... Okay. I like it if you like it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun checking this thing out once he gets back. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's right. Okay. Okay. So you guys don't say anything to my son, and I won't. Okay. I think it looks a lot like the one that was on there, except the blades aren't chewed up. The paint's still on it. But other than those things, I think it looks just like it. So he'll never know. It'll be in the water. What's he gonna, you know, he's not gonna see it. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we can move on to the suck, squeeze, bang, and blow up at the top. Uh... <laughs> All right. Small victories, right? Small victories. Okay, guys. Bring you in for a quick look. The nut, there's a washer back here. There's another one on the other side. And your uh, key. And, I mean, it's it's, it's smooth, so. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to spin like that. <laughs> I don't know. I know nothing about these. All right, we're going to... I think what we're going to do is... Uh, Try and see if it'll start. I just need to see what am I starting with on this thing. Does it even run? And if it does, I mean, what's it doing? So let's let's start there, all right? Let's see if we can't get it to start, figure out what, what's happening with it, and we'll move on from there. Okay, guys, got the top off. You saw that. If you didn't, then that's my bad. But uh, so it looks like we got... Ow, ow, my head. That right there okay uh, air filter carburetors back here looks like uh, looks like we got some relays up there coal pack starter spark plugs are on the opposite side over there let me see um yep there they are right there uh one down below it so, uh, no, nah, nothing to be too afraid of, right? It's, uh, it's just another engine. Has all the right components, just in different places. All the right parts in all the wrong places. Okay. So, okay, we got this off. So first things first, we're going to see if we can't get it to start and see what we got. I guess I just needed to prime it a little bit more. Let's try it again. Come on. I don't know. I knew more about these things. <laughs> um, okay. Let's keep trying. So, whoa, we got, we got 
fuel pouring out of here. So what's, what is the, what is the story with that? Yeah, you can see how wet that is in there. You see it dripping down here. So, fuel's getting there, but um, too much. I would, I would say, too much. I'm guessing. Uh, so why are we, where are we getting that? Um, these are pretty basic carburetors. I could pop it off. I do have rebuild kits for each one of these just in case I need it. They don't look too terribly, uh, they look a lot like a lawnmower carburetor, to be honest with you. They don't look like too much more than that. Um, not really sure why we're getting all this fuel. So... Yeah. Whoop, there it is. It ran. All right, so I don't want to do any more until I get the uh, water hooked up to it so I can uh, keep cool. So let me, let me hook up water and see if we can't get it running and then I can see what is going on with this. <laughs> hey, we got it running, guys. Okay, so we got the water running down there so that should uh, keep it cool and we can try and get this thing started and see what's going on with it so one of the things let me show you what I, I did here I don't know it was acting weird I moved this lever all the way up and it was about here and then it can go all the way here all the way up and it was kind of in between I have no idea what that is or what it does <laughs> But maybe that was in the wrong position. It made a noise. I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> Let's see if this thing runs all right. I don't know. I have no idea. Here we go. That's uh, not really sure why it dumps all that fuel when it shuts down. Okay, it doesn't run terrible. Um, I need to get it running and just see if it'll idle. And then I've got, looks like uh, an adjustment screw here. I assume, just for the sake of assuming that that's an air fuel mixture. I don't know where the idle so right here looks like this may be controlling the idle. I have no idea how do you adjust that. All right, so all right, so looks like this is your idle screw. That's that's adjust this, which holds this at a certain point. Um. Maybe this could be turned in a little bit, push this out a little bit, and bump that idle just a little. I don't know. I'm going to move this all the way to the other side just to see if that changes anything. I have no idea what it is. All right, let's try it again. Idling. I'm not smoking real bad. Man, 
man. Looks like it's doing good. Backfire going on. All right. Huh. Okay. So let's remember that I moved it facing forward and she cranked and idled. I'm going to put it back where I found, well, where I had it. I found it right there, right in the middle, but we're going to put it right there. See if that changes anything. All right, let's try that. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to, doesn't even want to idle there. I wish I knew what that was. I'm gonna put it back where I found it, right about in the middle. See if that changes anything. She's pretty responsive there. Huh. Well, guys, we got it running. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna shut her down. Okay. Um, so it doesn't run terribly. It it, uh, it seemed pretty responsive on that run. Um, this clearly likes to be about where it was, it's right about in the middle. So, you know, putting it all the way forward, it didn't like that at all. It didn't want to run all the way back. It wants to run, but it wants to backfire. And I put it somewhere right here in the middle and she ran pretty good. Um, no backfiring and she was pretty responsive to the throttle, so. I, I think what I'm going to do to start with is I've got, I've got some new spark plugs here. So I'm going to take those out, take a look at what the, is going on with those, see how they look, and then we're going to just go ahead and replace them. And then I'll make a decision on the carburetors. The carburetors look to be uh, in pretty good shape. They don't look dirty. They don't look anything. They, they seem to be running good. I don't want to mess with them if they're in good shape, and it, they look to be in good shape. I may hit them with some uh, carburetor cleaner, just clean them up real good. You know, spray it up inside of it and crank it, you know, try to maybe run some of that carb cleaner through there. But, uh, 
I'm not really sure a whole lot needs to be done here. I don't know why it was running so terrible. Um, all right, well, we'll start with sparks and we'll go from there, all right? All right, let's, uh, let's get the top one out. All right, here you go, guys. Let's see, we can see it now. So it's not, uh, it's not suited up. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it looks terribly bad. So, well, we'll put the new one in, but it looks, looks all right. So I'm not really sure why he's having, having the problems he's having. So, uh, I don't know. So far, it's actually run pretty good for me. So, let's uh let's gap that a little bit better. That's like got almost no gap. Let's go ahead and get this one in and then we'll check out the other one. Get that in there where it's not so hot. And yeah, this one doesn't look any different than the other one. I don't see any anything that concerns me. It's not heavy sooted or anything like that. Not burning hot. I, I mean it looks fine. Alright, let's put the other one, other new one in. Let's see how she does on a, on another star. Let's just see what it. This could end up being a pretty simple. Uh, will it run? It's more like a why why didn't it run bad? You know, good. It ran bad. I saw it. He was having problems with it. I went with him, and he had a hard time getting it going. Uh, didn't want to run very good. Ran rough. Smoked a lot. Now I will say on the very first crank. This thing started, it didn't run very well, didn't want to respond in the throttle at all, and she smoked a lot, so. But then I played around with uh, that red lever thingy. I don't know, I don't know. you know what it is, I guess. Uh, whatever it is, um, that, that seemed to take care of it, so, I don't know. All right, let me go get the water turned back on and we'll get it cranked. All right, guys, let's, uh, Let's see what we got. All right, let's crank her back up.
Well guys, I mean it runs pretty good. It's not smoking at all. I don't know. I mean it's uh Yeah. It seems to be doing fine. Huh. I don't know. Uh, I did like that. I mean, the carb cleaner going through the uh, through there when I did that, it seemed to run a little bit better after I was done with that. So they may have cleaned out some of the passages in there. But uh, yeah, I, it's 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 running good. So I think what I'm going to do is probably going to leave this where it's at. It's running good, but what I'm going to do is do several cold starts and just see how this thing cranks and then runs and I'll do that several times to just to be sure all right so having an issue with the uh, drain tube here so it comes out here um, and it was just spewing out of here so uh, I checked the line I feel like it's plugged up and if you probably look you see that right there it's probably mud dauber got in there so I'm gonna have to clear this line and then the water should pee out of here just fine so let me let me get that this right here the line that was on here wouldn't fit over this and it was spewing out of there and it was also plugged so I put a new line on and now you can see it works works really good all right guys so looks like we got this thing running pretty good um, I did a little research in between uh, some of some of the work on here and this is it's like a preset choke I guess is what this is so all the way you know all the way this way is choking and dumping fuel um, it's like almost like a prime or something like that so the farther you go this way the less fuel it's dumping um, and it seems to want to run somewhere in that in that spot right there you get too far this way it's a little bit too lean you get too far this way she's dumping too much fuel uh, on startup and all that kind of stuff so I thought maybe it was a, a maybe some kind of a timing thing but apparently it's it's just got something to do with choking and uh, how much fuels kind of injecting in it on startup at least that's what I'm I'm gathering from what I see on the internet but well guys it's morning and I'm back out at the boat yep uh, it did not pass the cold start so <clears throat> um, gonna pull the carburetors let's go ahead and just clean them up go through them make sure everything's good to go there uh, but yeah she's really doesn't want to start cold I'll get her to start but it'll be a while and then once once she's warmed up she's fine uh, so I gotta figure out what's going on there all right so let's get the uh, carburetors off okay so I've already played around with this a little bit I got the uh, linkage between the two of them uh, all separated I have no idea what this is but that one right there and that's out and I've begun to loosen the two bolts that hold it on there's not a whole lot to this um, you can see it's already coming off so let me get that pulled off and I'm gonna do these one at a time uh, I don't want to get things all mixed up so I want to put the this one back in the place that it was in I don't know if that is a uh, necessary or not but I feel a lot better if I just do that because cause just because I don't know so let me get this one off we'll go set up a table I'll start uh, tearing that one apart cleaning and all that good stuff all right all right so looks like we've got all the gassets we're need we're gonna need so we got the one here for the float area for mounting and for up here so looks like we got everything so I just didn't want to tear anything apart till I 
I knew what we had and didn't have, so I had knew what I had to be careful with. So let's get into here first. The needle's moving fine. I don't see any issues there. All right, let's get this side off. See what we got there. That's my neighbor. He's got an old uh, square body C10 over there. I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up from him. See if we can't maybe do a will it run on that because engine's partially tore apart. I probably need just about everything, brakes, all that kind of stuff. And uh, get it running and see if we can't find a good home for it. Uh, you guys want to see something like that, let me know. I'd, that'd be kind of cool to do. And it's right there. I don't have to go far. I don't see anything going on here. Let's see how many turns this thing is uh, set at. Six turns. Remember that for me. I'm bad about that. It's my son. Keeps texting me. <laughs> I hear you, Ryan. Just a minute. All right, I'm gonna take this, soak it in the carb cleaner. All right, guys, so let's uh, pull this out of here. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. All right, guys, so looks like all the passageways are good and clean. I was able to get a little bit of adjustment on this float. So it's up a little bit. It was way up there tight, way up in here. So I think it was filling that bowl way too full. And now we got it shutting off a lot, a little bit sooner. Well guys, looks like my daughter's here. We're gonna do a little bit of work on her car. So <laughs> I'll bring you along. There we go, we're gonna do shocks, struts, and uh, she's got a long trip ahead of her at the end of summer, so we're starting now to start working on our car. She got accepted in a doctorate program at uh, Oregon State, so we're gonna be moving her up there in August. Ah, September actually. So, good on her, it's kinda cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she worked hard for it. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get in here and see if we can't get some tires off. Start replacing shocks and struts. This, we'll just come back to this, okay, guys? I promise we'll be back. Okay, got the rear shock loose down here. And after much agony, I found that there are two 10 millimeters up there. And you have to remove this stuff out of your way to get to them. And then it comes right out. So, yep. So we're gonna get that done real quick uh, up top and then we'll pull that out, swap it around and get the new one in. Okay, so we've gotta get these little clips off and you can just take a little body, body tool, pops right off. Um, not a big deal. Pow! Who did that hit? Did that hit you guys? Did that hit you guys? Sorry. Okay, there we go. Then you get to come underneath here and get lots and lots of dirt in your face and commence the dirt. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, and this works uh, just like any regular shock at the top. You gotta hold it on the shaft from spinning so you can loosen the nut. You can come off now. Okay, all right. 
All right. Okay, so we got, got that on and tight. Everything's ready, so now it's just getting it back up in the car. Ha! <laughs> got a little stud here. We got our little clip. I just use a uh, socket, put it on there, and you can just push it right on there. Just like that. Rear shocks wrapped up. Okay, we got it all done. So I guess I can get back to what I was doing. Uh, yeah, carburetor on the boat. All right, let me get back on that. Say bye. <laughs> Is it smoother? <laughs> all right, there she goes. Don't hit my truck. Don't hit my truck. I don't know. Does it really matter if she hits my truck? All of my kids have hit my truck at some point. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I, I don't want to fix it because all, all those dents in it, they all have memories. I'm going to pull this boat in here now so I can get it uh, in here just in case it rains or anything like that. I got everything kind of opened up and I'm not sure when I'll be able to get this finished up. So let me... Uh, let me get it pulled into the uh, into the shop. I think we're going to be okay here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start reassembling this. And when I get that done, we'll go ahead and put it on, grab the other one, bring it on over, and start working on it. Okay? Okay. I got it all back together. I remembered six turns. All right. So let me go put this one back on, and I'm going to go grab the other one. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got the bottom one and whoa, it's emptying out. Anyway, uh, some advice. Don't put the top one back on until you've got this one off because you just can't get to this one uh, with, with the top one on. So I had to pull the top one back off and then pull this one off. So just a heads up, you guys I'm sure are gonna wanna know that. So. So I, my son will be watching this, so he is going to see everything that I have done. Cringe, I'm sure. Laugh, I'm sure. Uh, you know what, you guys, uh, you want to throw in the comments to say, say hi to Ryan. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. To say, hey, Ryan, thank him for his service. Always thank the vets for their service because it's why I can do what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and soak it, and then we'll come back and put it all together. Mm-hmm, come on. You all right? Get that in there. Okay, let's get that in there. All right. Okay. Uh, directions say boil for 10 minutes and then check it. Maybe a little stir. No, it don't. Anyway, all right, guys. I will bring you back once I'm done letting that soak and we will put it together. Okay, I've got it out. It's, you know, kind of gross. So I'm going to go spray this off real quick and, and then we'll start reassembling, blowing all the passages out and then we'll get ready. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? I thought so. All right, there we go. There it is, bottom carburetor. So let's uh, let's end it here for tonight, and uh, I'll be back in the morning, and we will put this one, the other one on, and then I will pull the bolt back outside, so we can hook the water up to it. See if we can't get it running. 
see you guys in the morning. All right, well, good morning. I'm back and uh, back from picking up my dad. He's here to help continue polishing the trim for the Thunderbird. Uh, so last night I finished the carburetors. I'm going to go ahead and get them on. Uh, and then once I get them on, I'm going to pull the boat out and we'll start this thing again. Okay. So I'll be right back once I've got all that done and we're ready to go start cranking on this and see if we can get it to run. Okay, we got it out here, and it looks like everything's pretty much ready to go. Uh, <laughs> at least we'll find out, right? Uh, yeah, let's do this. I want to get this thing running again, but better this time. All right, let me get the water. All right, guys. Looks like we're good. Water's on. Let me uh, give her a few squirts of prime. All right, let's see what we got. All right. She's flooded. Let's smell the gas. I <laughs> can't reach them both.
All right, well, the P-tube hasn't kicked in yet, so I'm going to turn the water pressure up on the hose a little bit just to see if that's what it is. Okay, I got the water pressure up. Let's give this a try. Let's see if we can't get uh, the P-tube to work. I just think the water pressure was too low. So not bad for a cold start and the, and the, you know, the carburetors have been off and tore apart and we put back together, I had to get the fuel going and all that. Uh, took a little bit for it to get itself all sorted out. Idled really good. Uh, for some reason, choking itself out or something when I, when I really get on the throttle a little bit, it's not quite as responsive as it was. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, probably run it for a little bit. Just let it run for a little while. Just to let it get good and warm. See, uh, see what it does. We're gonna wrap this up right here. Uh, she's warmed up good. She responds well. Idling good. Uh, I, I think everything's working. I'll have to do some more cold starts just to make sure that, that I've got everything and, and it's good. But I think we're gonna wrap this up right here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye.